time is now 5.36 a.m. Definitely wishing Mr. Spurgeon the best in all of his endeavors. And for anybody who might be going out and try to do anything today, Taylor, rather be enjoying retirement, they might want to try to get it done early before the rain comes in. Yeah, if I was going to retirement, I'd probably stay at home and watch my, <laughs> watch my TV because it will be one of those days where, like, you will enjoy the rain because you'll hear it on the outside, mm -hmm. but you don't want to get stuck in it. Oh, Definitely not. Yeah, no. and that's going to be the story for the rest of the week, unfortunately. So, again, we are in a very unsettled pattern to end 2021, and you're going to start feeling the effects of this even right now. Here's a live look right now in Dublin, and you can see the skies are very overcast. Temperature is already in the mid-60s. For perspective, our average high temperature for this time of year is in the upper 50s. So, we are definitely sitting very, very warm on this December 29th and that's going to be the story for today. Right now we're staying dry, but it's feeling soupy outside, but you don't have to look very far to see any rain. This is along a cold front already entering parts of North Georgia and seeing some lightning with that as well. So we'll keep an eye on this as we head into the rest of the day because that is heading our direction. So for today, you will not need the heavy coat, but you will need the rain jacket. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s across the area with storms coming this afternoon. And here is the timing of all of that. So this morning we may get a stray shower, but most of the rain is going to hold off until we head towards your 4 to 5 p.m. hour. And we can see some heavy downpours in this as well. We are in level one out of five risk for severe storms today. So make sure to stay weather aware throughout the day and into early tomorrow morning. Now heading into your evening hours, still could see some shower storm and storm activity, but most of that will be diminishing throughout the night, but then the next round comes as we head into early Thursday morning as this cold front starts to sink down into the area. So Thursday morning, you can even see some broken storms as they head towards central Georgia, and that's going to be knocking on our doorstep as we head towards 8 to 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So mid morning is our time to see some of the heaviest storms for the midweek. Again, that front is going to start moving through. The storms will start to break apart through Thursday afternoon and somewhere in South Georgia, this front is going to stall. And what that does is it brings us multiple rounds of rain over and over again. Thankfully, as we head in Thursday night into early Friday morning, there is no severe weather threat, but you are going to need to keep the umbrella on you. There is a level three risk out of five for portions of the mid south, but thankfully here in central Georgia, we're only in a level one for places in our northwest viewing area. We could see the chance for some damaging winds, a brief tornado and heavy rainfall. That threat does continue as we head into early Thursday morning, so make sure to keep any alerts on you throughout the night on so you can hear them in case we have any severe weather. But the tornado threat does diminish and we only have frequent lightning and mainly damaging winds as our biggest threats for Thursday morning. Now looking long range, we have another cold front coming through as we enter the new year. It is much stronger than the cold front coming through today. This cold front will possibly pose a risk for another round of severe weather, especially as we head towards early Sunday morning. You can even see some of the models indicating some of those heavier storms rolling through the southeast. Now heading into Sunday evening, we still will be in the chance for rain, but once that cold front moves out, the cold air and its effects will really be felt. It will clear out through your Monday morning and Monday afternoon and temperatures will plummet into the beginning of January. So for the rest of 2021, 70s and stormy. So keep the umbrella through the rest of the week. And then for our cold weather lovers, 50s return to the forecast for the beginning of January with plenty of sunshine in the forecast. We're back after the break.